goose egg, bub kiss. That's what the cops got. I once convinced a woman that I was Kevin Costner, and it worked because I believed it. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're talking about Better Call Saul again, season 2 this time. Full spoiler warning here, I'm not going to be holding back today. If you want to know what my thoughts are on the show without spoilers, I do have a review up for season 1, so go check that out. However, if you're here, you want to know what I think, let's get right into it. So it's been about a week since I finished season 2 and I wanted to give myself a bit of time to really summarize my thoughts. And I think that I have the perfect way of describing how I feel about it. You have the entire subplot with the nerdy pharmacist who's selling drugs and hires Mike to be the bodyguard for him and make sure that Nacho doesn't rip him off or kill him. Then he tries dealing on his own and then his house gets broken into and his baseball cards are stolen and it just goes on and on. That entire subplot, or is it kind of the main plot? because it, it, it does tie over into Saul Goodman eventually. That's kind of like a perfect allegory for my enjoyment of this show. It's really good, and I'm enjoying everything that I'm seeing. It's very well written, acted, shot. But why do I care about this pharmacist selling drugs? I get that we're supposed to be there to give a shit about Mike, because Mike's doing this to get money for his family. But this is Better Call Saul, not the Jimmy McGill and Mike show. And I understand that Mike's a big part of this show, and he's going to be. But having Breaking Bad in hindsight, and knowing where Mike's story ends, it doesn't feel like this is really doing anything. I guess a lot of this show feels like it's very unimportant to the bigger picture of what's going on. I understand that Vince Gilligan and the showrunners have something they want to tell. There's something there that they want to show us, and that's got to be in the later seasons that are coming out right now. But as of season two, with no end in sight to whatever that good thing is, the show mostly feels like filler. Very well written filler, but filler nonetheless. I know people are crazy about this show right now, and I don't mean to play devil's advocate, but I've got to treat it as if I would anything else, not just, it's made by Vince Gilligan, it's just an instant 10. Overall, I think this season is pretty on par with the first, which was really good. I love the return of Tuco and seeing him again. I get, didn't get to talk about it in season one, but damn, seeing Tuco was great. Watching that unhinged guy scare the hell out of people, it's awesome. I love seeing the return of Hector and how he's going to be paralyzed at some point later down the line. Or he, he has to be, there's no way that the show will avoid that. For me, the best part and the reason why I'm still watching this show, one, I know there's some good stuff down the line later to come but it's watching Jimmy McGill slowly slip off the deep end and become the person we come to know as Saul Goodman. It's the best part for me, watching a man that's just being beat down by everyone from every direction, so he's almost forced into bending and breaking the rules to get his way, is really fun to watch. Rhea Seahorn returns as Kim Wexler. I think she's great. Again, I love her dynamic with Jimmy. It's not just they're together or they're not together. Nothing's ever black and white, and that's what I always loved about the... Breaking Bad universe, if that's what you want to call it. The things aren't just clear. Like life, it can be messy. Michael McKean as Chuck is here again. He's great. I love everything that this show has done in terms of setup. The concept of you've got the brother that has the unbending rules, and then you've got Jimmy who will bend the rules. All the way down to Chuck, the one with the unbending rules, having this condition where he's allergic to electricity. All these special and very specific things have been just very carefully placed, and I'm really interested to see where it's gonna go. Especially after the cliffhanger that reveals that Chuck recorded Jimmy confessing to felonies. So don't worry, I'm definitely back for season three. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse when I say this, but Bob Odenkirk, as Saul Goodman or Jimmy McGill, he just kills it. He's a character that always says so much, so there's so much to him, as well as when he's quiet, because he usually says so much, the performance is then very layered. You can read a lot from him when he's not talking. I don't even know if that's making any sense. My point is that it's fantastic. Overall, another really good season of television, but I am yet to be impressed. I'm yet to have the why is Better Call Saul a must watch? So since I said it's basically on par with the first season and the quality is riding the same line, again, I'm gonna give Better Call Saul season two a seven out of 10. Very solid, very consistent, very nice to watch, very, very close to an eight. 
very high seven. Um, other moments I enjoyed that I didn't want to leave out, I want to address everything. I love Jimmy's flamboyant suits and him trying to get himself fired down to playing the bagpipes. I thought that was great. I love that his new coffee cup doesn't fit in his new car. I mean, not only is it a great joke, but it's great symbolism for how this new job doesn't fit for him. And the reveal of the murder twins on top of the building looking at Mike, that was awesome as well. I think I've covered just about everything that I wanted to talk about. If I've forgotten anything, I'll be sure to bring it up in the next one. But that is it. That is my thoughts on Better Call Saul Season 2. What did you guys think of the second season? Does it get way better as it goes? Or does it kind of just ride this very steady quality line where it's very good, but it doesn't get much bigger. I doubt it. I think it's just going to go ballistic, kind of how Breaking Bad did. But we'll see how it goes. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, hitting the like button, hang out with me. Come, come back and see what I think and where this TV show goes. And react to me reacting to the cliffhangers that this show will leave me on. I'm sure they are coming. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you're a bloody legend. And hopefully, I can see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.